Hello everybody, today we have a new knife on the table. We are going to check out today the MB Zip Knife. And so this particular knife I purchased on Kickstarter. So this did come from a Kickstarter campaign. And so the whole idea behind this campaign, their official title was the MB Zip, a titanium EDC keychain knife and multi-tool. But when it comes down right to it, what we have right here is a very pocketable titanium frame lock knife very very small size and uh, when you buy stuff on Kickstarter you're never really even guaranteed that you're going to receive a product much less a product that is functional so I am glad to report that this arrived safe and sound and it is pretty much what I expected it to be so that's great so when it came in the mail first before we even look at the knife it came in a small pouch here with the specs on it and it is a zippered plastic pouch the MB zip with the titanium seal on there because it is a titanium frame lock knife and of course these specs right here so I'm just going to leave this on the table so you can check this out throughout the video um, but it is a very diminutive frame lock knife it is meant in my opinion to be worn on a keychain and I think it would do really well you know in that purpose so taking a look at the blade let's open it up for you this variant that I purchased is the drop point version this blade right here is 1.67 inches long, so it is a small blade on a small knife. And this particular variant being the drop point, they also offered it in a clip point and in a worn cliff as well. And so the clip point and the drop point looked somewhat similar. The clip just had a slightly more swedge on it. So taking a closer look, you can see the name of the, on the blade, MB Zip, and you will see that this knife is made out of AUS-8 steel. It has a thumb stud on one side, which is just fit into that recess on the handle. Meant to be a very compact package. That was the goal here, I'm thinking. But they did a really good job, and it looks very elegant, in my opinion. When you look at the back side right here, for instance, um, what we're seeing is just a completely flat, smooth surface. And you can see the cutout for the titanium frame lock right there. So that's pretty well done. The front side is just a titanium scale, and we see some of the hardware. Uh, very nice to look at. It's all T6 screws that you could use to adjust right here. At the rear of the knife, we do have a flathead screwdriver. I guess you could use it for that or something to pry with or to bust open boxes without the blade, I guess. Um, it is very flattened. I don't know what to call it. It's beveled out, so you could use it as a pry bar or flathead screwdriver. I think the most useful part of this part of the knife is going to be to attach a keychain so that you could wear it on a keychain. The blade itself still relatively new, it doesn't flick out super nicely, but I don't really expect it to either because, you know, it is a small keychain knife. The flickability and the fidgetability of this knife isn't really its selling point. Uh, but in the hand it looks nice. I do like the drop point look to the blade. Um, all very smooth corners all around, pretty well machined in my opinion. So once the blade is open, let's do a check out of the lock up there. So you can see that titanium frame goes across the blade. Very good lockup. It looks very solid. The centering, probably not very important on a knife like this, but you can check it out anyway. The blade is centered in the handle. There's, it's not rubbing on either scale. So that's also a good positive to report on. So really uh, interesting little knife. The main thing that drew me to it was that we see a small keychain style knife, not meant to be just a gas station knife, but meant to be something a little bit higher end, you know, with the titanium material. So that's kind of cool. Also helps keep the weight down because we can see the ultra light weight of the knife. This is a one ounce knife overall, which is pretty carryable. Uh, but let's make some comparisons with other knives kind of in this size range, in this, in this size class. Um, so what I want to show off first, we'll go from, I guess, big to small. We have right here the CRKT Squid. And this particular variant of the Squid is the Grid Squid, limited edition. And side by side right there, of course, you can see the immediate size difference. Um, huge weight difference, too. Now, the Squid here isn't a heavyweight knife by any means, but this was a stainless steel frame lock, so it does, ha it does have significant heft to it compared to the Zip Knife. Um, also very comparable to it, we have the Kershaw Launch 4, and the Launch 4 is one of those California Legal Autos because this blade is sub 2 inches. But even in comparison to the Zip Knife, you can see it's much larger. 
And uh, with a 1.67 inch blade versus a two inch blade, you can just see the size comparison. The comparison in thickness, of course, no comparison there. Just a very, very different uh, type of knife, an auto uh, two inch blade. Same, same vein right here. This right here is the Boker USB Auto. I've been carrying this Boker um, USB Auto ever since I purchased it, actually. So you can actually see some wear on the aluminum just from having it in my pocket all the time. Because this one is also very easy to carry. I've actually put this on my keychain, and I've been just, it's just been it with me ever since I purchased it. So really fidgety action on this one. But in comparison, you can see side by side, they're actually a little more similar in blade length. Because even though the Boker USB is is advertised as a California legal auto, which it is, the blade length isn't quite up to the two inch mark. Um, it's closer to this one right here, the 1.67 inches. Uh, and of course they did that for size um, purposes because this one is still of course very lightweight, um, very easy to carry around on a keychain. Um, but what I think might be a really apt comparison, this right here is a Victorinox Classic. And so what we generally have on here is your little pen knife blade. <laughs> very similar weight, very similar to a knife you might carry on your keychain. So I think it kind of falls into that same category as a multi-tool. Um, I think there's a little bit more utility out of a Victorinox Classic. But that being said, if you just want something that's primarily a blade and that's going to be lightweight and easy to carry, I think this could kind of fill that role for you. Um, coming in at one ounce, it's something that you're really not going to notice on your keychain at all. And I think they are well made. Um, when I bought this on Kickstarter as a backer, I paid $29 for it, which, you know, may be a high price for some. And I think their retail price is going to be $35. But that price for a titanium frame lock knife in general is pretty good. This one just happens to be very small. So I am here to say the knives are fairly well built. Um, I would get one of the titanium variants because they also sell this knife in G10. Um, if you were going for extreme weight savings, you might want to try the G10 variant. I bet it comes in at under one ounce total. Uh, but I think the titanium is going to age really well. It's going to get some nice markings from carry um, and just look really cool after, you know, <laughs> enough time in your pocket, enough time on your keychain. Um, so they did this really well, I think, in my opinion. And for the price, it's something that you can just test out and it's not going to break the bank. But just keep in mind, if you do purchase this, this is a very small knife. So do not forget that part of it. It is a keychain carry. So really cool little MB zip knife. If you have any questions on this, feel free to leave a comment below. What do you think about this category of knife? I know I've gone small with knives before, um, but this one really takes the cake in the size category. But that also means you get some extreme weight savings on it as well. So I think I like that aspect of the knife. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of this category of knife. Would love to hear from you. Have a nice day, everybody. Bye-bye.